500 feet. Pretty squally up here. Pretty wild. Two Snapchatting climbers have reached a new milestone in their latest attempt to summit Mount Everest together. Adrian Ballinger and Corey Richards posted this new video earlier today when they made it to their tent. They've been documenting every step of their journey on Snapchat. This is the second time the duo is trying to climb without supplemental oxygen. Last year, only Corey made it to the summit. Adrian had to turn around when he was just over 1,200 feet away. The two are now within 3,500 vertical feet of the summit. Dana Jacobson is following their expedition. Dana, good morning. Good morning. Corey and Adrian set off for Everest a month ago with two goals in mind. The first, to make sure Adrian reaches the summit this year, and the second, to capture that moment on Snapchat. 25,000 feet, got done what we need to do. Mount Everest looms overhead as Adrian Ballinger and Corey Richards skirt an altitude known as the death zone, where oxygen levels are so low, human survival is nearly impossible. It's hard. I mean, the body's not meant to be here. They reach the North Call on Thursday with the Eddie Bauer Everest team. For most climbers, this rugged mountain pass is the closest they'll get to the summit. Our bodies don't love us right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty wasted. <laughs> but Corey and Adrian plan on ascending and Snapchatting right to the top without supplemental oxygen. I'm breathing hard just sitting. Training for summit day is rigorous. Custom diets give them a metabolic kick to combat altitude sickness. So I'm eating a lot of sugars, which is what helps my body operate up here. Their heart rates and oxygen levels are meticulously monitored as they move higher up. He's actually doing really well. His sats are good. It's a Herculean effort to survive one of the world's most inhospitable regions. It's estimated that nearly 300 people have died attempting to scale Everest. Last month, Swiss climber Yuli Steck fell to his death in the same area Corey and Adrian had been training. His legacy is huge and it always will be and I'm not sure it will, those are shoes that can be filled. The pair braved a violent storm and sub-zero temperatures last year while acclimating to low oxygen. Everest no filter. Tent's collapsing on itself. Unfortunately, AB had to turn around a little bit earlier, so it's up to me to hold it down. That's the summit. Only Corey made it to the top. With just over 1,200 feet to go, Adrian's dream was cut short. Nothing really felt right. I wasn't hydrating that well, I wasn't eating that well, um, and I definitely was really cold. I knew I was already getting to that point where I wouldn't be able to get myself down alone. The pair expects to summit Everest together, an undertaking they hope to share with thousands from the top of the world. It's a reminder to, to really make sure that it's still worth it, that our values are in the right place, that we're doing this for the right reasons, and we're willing to accept that risk. Now, last year, Corey spent just three minutes at the top of Everest, but his cell phone battery died, if you remember, before he could Snapchat the moment. This time, they plan on bringing extra power so their Snapchat followers will not be let down. And there's good news. Nine Sherpas made it to the top. They summited yesterday so they could lay down those rope lines. And that begins the quest for hundreds of climbers this year to summit. Oh, wow. They were both so determined because they came here, as you know, before they yeah. went. They looked yeah. really great and healthy at that point. Yeah, too. they did. You know, we yeah. hope they make it for this reason, too. He just declined to go, thinking it might be a problem, not only for his life, but also affecting his partner. Exactly. And you so want to see him do it this time because he made exactly the right decision. That's exactly it. I mean, he summited six times with oxygen. Yeah. You want to see him achieve this quest. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Dana. Always yeah. good to see you.